Well, hello and welcome again to our channel. Today uh, we have a different video, as you can see, I'm here in my desk. And the reason why I'm here is because after uploading the P21 uh, two weeks ago, flying with the Cosmic, I received via email and also in the comment section uh, some questions about what are the conditions I use, the switches I use during uh, a P21. And I think that the best way to answer all these questions is watching together the P21, analyzing all the, the buttons I am pressing during the, the flight, and what are the conditions I use for uh, every maneuver, and maybe I can answer most of the, the questions you have, and you can see at least one way to, to make the P21, which it doesn't mean is, is the best one, for sure not, but uh, yes, at least understand what I am doing and why I am doing that, so yeah. Hopefully it's helpful for you and uh, let's jump in and check the numbers. Okay, so here we are. Let's check the P21. I remember that that day we went super early, before the sunrise. Normally if, if I want to fly during the, during the week I have to go before work, so we go very early. That day we had a bit of crosswind from the back, but before starting the the program, let me first say the conditions I normally use for uh, the P the P schedule. Normally I use a, a normal condition with my dual rates for doing everything. I do everything with these dual rates, from a rolling circle to a stall turn or a four point roll. I always use the same. Then I have a condition for the entry of the spin and then another one for the snap roll. Apart from that, I always, I'm always touching the, this yellow switch from here, which is the T-brake. So I have two positions uh, for my brake, full brake or half brake. So in order to activate the brake, uh, I have a, a condition that is activated by two switches. One, the, the switch itself, which is the safety switch, and then the stick, the stick of the throttle, I use it as a switch. So once I'm in the idle position, in the 0%, for example, and the switch is activated, then the brake works. So I will talk during the, during the schedule of why I'm using the brake or not. But it's the, the switch that I touch <laughs> most of the time. As you can see here, to do this, this circle, which is very easy to see any flat part, uh, I don't use brake. I prefer the plane to use all the inertia to make it easier. But as you will see now, I will activate half of the brake. Normally I activate half of the brake, just to make it more slowly, trying to make it as elegant as possible. Then here, yeah, here you have seen that I, I switch on one of the the, the switches from the back of the transmitter. This one is the motor, and it's because I forgot <laughs> during that fly I forgot to activate the brake of the motor. So it's nothing special. I just activate the the motor, the brake motor of the dual sky. That what it does is increment a little bit the the idle position. Now it's not zero percent. Zero percent would block the the propeller. Now it's like a five six percent. So I have a brake. Then I activate the, the full brake because uh, there is the stall turn. As you can see here, no switches. And I, I just uh, confirm that I have the, the full brake. So the stall turn, there is a lot of people using dual rates. So I have seen many people <laughs> using dual rates. You, I think that the best possibility is to do what uh, I do in this case because it's simpler. I use a lot of rudder uh, movement. I have almost the 100% the of the movement, but I use a high expose, and I'm comfortable with that. This is why the way my father teach me at the beginning. And then there is another option if you don't feel comfortable using all the all the rudder. What you can do is activate the full rudder only when you press the the 100% of the movement, which is only in the in the stall turn. So 
that's the two possibilities I would I uh, would go for. But uh, in my personal, I mean, what I do is just uh, use the the hundred percent of the router and then play with the, the expo. Here, as you can see, the brake allows me to to mark all these down lines very well. So now the square loop on corner. I'm going there with the full brake, but I think that I will put it in the half position, at least for the, the first downline. Let's see, the roll and yeah, here I activate the half. Because normally if you activate the full throttle, uh, the full brake there, you can create this, this feeling when you're going down, not straight, more like this. And especially in the in this maneuver that you want to make it as geometric as possible, I prefer to use only a half break in this first uh, edge and then in the other one activate the full one just to mark the lines uh, before and after the roll. You will see. Now I have half break, straight line and then uh, just before the edge I activate the, the full break just to mark the, these lines correctly. Next maneuver, figure 9. Here it depends on the wind. If there is no much wind, I lift the 100% the, the brake. And here I think that I, I left 100% of the brake. Yeah. So knife edge, nothing to comment. Here again, full brake. I think that for this maneuver is very interesting to have a, a good brake performance because the, the the maneuver is very small. It's half loop, but from the half of the window. So if you have brake, you can make it like longer. It seems like it's bigger than whoop, just a very very short uh, maneuver. I think that it looks more elegant with the brake. It's like you have time. There is no rush. And the two half rolls consecutive for the inverted. I know for the gold ball. Here again, this in this uh, P21, I was trying to fly slowly. It was very early in the morning with a bit of wind from from behind. But yeah, here as I maintain the throttle normally during the whole maneuver. I le I left the the full brake because it's just now at this point where I put all the brake and then it allows me to mark this line very long the same as when you go up but it's not like whoop, accelerating it's keeping the same speed during the whole downline Sharfin exactly half uh, half uh, brake I changed there the, the switch. Here is the same. I'm, I'm doing it because during the roll with the full break I could, you know, go down. So it's better if you have only half. Look, one, one good thing of the T brake is that it demonstrates the efficiency of the router or the authority of the router thanks to the T-canalizer because once you open the brake you lose a lot of uh, router efficiency so that's why sometimes if you have to mark really well the, the quarters it's better if you have only half because with the full you you have to uh, move a lot the router and then it, may, it makes something weird so uh, this demonstrates the, the, the amazing efficiency that the T-canalizer offers to to the airplane double Lieberman here again I, I'm I think that I will keep half or I will go for the full depending on if I'm flying slowly or not as you see normally I choose the right moments to to change things you know now I'm focusing on these four points now I activate the brake and I try to keep the circle as spherical as possible yeah and just at the end half roll so Humpty Bump again for sure uh, 
all the break possible here. Line, roll, mark another line, and here all all the break you can put. There is no roll, but it's better if it takes long to go down. Roll combination, nothing to say. Top hat. Here you will see. Need battery. Yeah, now I'm ready. So you will see in here that in the these reds are for the spin and for the snap conditions. So here you will see that after the, the corner, after the corner, I will, ac I will activate the, the spin condition. Look at my right hand. Just after the edge, activate the, the spin. And here what I have is uh, the 100% of the elevator. And then this is something I'm doing with the cosmic, but now with the epilogue is the same. Once I'm totally in the stall velocity, I remove the condition and normally I do the spin with my with my normal condition because some normally I play with the ailerons myself. So depending on how is the wind, I can control if I want a faster spin or a slower spin. So the, the normal the normal flight condition is uh, great for me. I applied 100% of the rudder, as I said, uh, with this high expo. The, the maximum negative elevator in this case uh, for normal flight, and then I play with the elevator. I with the aileron, sorry. Once I finish, I make sure in the right side you can see that I make sure that I remove the, the spin condition and I activate again the brake, full brake. Half break for the next one. The comet again 45 downline with uh, quarter rolls. It's better to to have a break, but not that much. For the next one, as I have only half roll, I prefer to put the full the full break. Why? Because it keeps my plane like in the right side of the window, and I have more space to make the the four point roll. Here you have it, one, two, three, and four. Half square loop on corner, here nothing. It's kind of relaxing, right? <laughs> and the snap, the snap. To be honest, I removed that in the video because I want to you to focus on the snap because it was a very good snap in my opinion. Well centered, uh, well clapped. So, you want to know the, the condition I use, right? For this kind of snaps, I, I highly recommend not to use the, the manual version. Look, for to make a snap, I think that there is uh, three very popular ways to do it. First, uh, activating a condition that uh, sets all the dual rates to the snap position so once you go to the maximum stick movement then you have the, the snap roll and this is what I have actually is the, the yellow uh, in the right switch uh, I activate that switch and then I have I can make a positive to the right, positive to the left, negative, negative that's for any occasion if I have, I have to make one snap, one and a half, three quarters I can do it using that system but for example this one is super repeatable i have to do it all the time in the p21 it's it's a simple it's a flat one snap roll for these cases i prefer to use a switch but there is two ways to activate the snap as a switch 
Futaba has something already programmed that you press the switch and then you can set the movement of your ailerons, elevator and rudder so you have to go to the position then press the switch, release the switch when, well you have to <laughs> to do it well, no, you have to practice it but once you remove the switch then the snap is, is done. It's not automatic, there is no timer so you have to do it by your own but it's simpler than moving everything, no? And then there is another way that actually uh, in the past uh, Wolf and Matt teach me which is using uh, this switch but activating it with two sticks so basically I go to the right and positive this maximum this corner activates this automatic snap so I don't have to press any other switch I always have the control of the airplane in my hand and then I go to the right to the corner and once I'm there it activates the, the snap roll and that's the way I recommend uh, for the P21 to make the, the snap roll. That's basically how how I how I fly the, the P21 with the Cosmic and basically the same with the Epilog. So yeah, I hope that it was a useful video for you. And if uh, you if you have any question, you can leave a comment in that video. Or if not, you have you know my email. So. You can contact me always for any any question or any comment, suggestion, uh, because this one was a suggestion by email. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. The next one will be the review of the epilogue, I swear. <laughs> Ciao.